how the energy of the barrel starts from above the shoulder or behind the back shoulder. This is a subject that I want to talk about it because um, you have to bring the video to come with the truth. It's not all the way. It's not all the way, right? And then it's a it's a feeling way, and it's a, what you see. All right, so. You can come with whatever your feelings, your emotions, and this is how I think. And then, but the video show you something else, right? And this is very important because we're going to show you more than, more than five hitters. They yes. are going to be worth more. I mean, they're, they're worth money because they're swing. The swing is some, they got something in common. And then how they turn in the barrel, how they bring the barrel, if it's from behind or it's from the top of the shoulders. Because a lot of people want to go on top of their shoulders to be short to the ball. And they practice like that. They do a lot of drills like pushing the hands on top of the shoulders, whatever. Now, and these videos, they look like they're on top of the shoulder, but they still the barrel turning. Exactly. So because it's all depend about where is where is the ball and what you know what you're trying to do with it. But you have to see the barrel action. Okay. Now let's just start with this. The first one. Obviously, hey, don't Josh. Everybody knows we're gonna, about this. We're one. gonna we're gonna know that we know that he don't go from above the shoulders down to the ball. Now, but let's just study. Uh, let's just put logic on how they look, okay? Because right here, you can go look at how he tried to go down and through it. That's what you probably think. But now, let's think about the energy he put in. Because when he tilting and turning that back leg, you you see that barrel going back right here. Okay, a lot of y'all, when y'all tilting and turning that back, like that barrel still here. And that's the wrong action. You're not turning the barrel. You're just not creating bat pad the right way. Okay, if you keep that bat right here in your shoulders to try to go straight to the ball, then you will create a bad pattern. If you're trying to do this, your barrel will get to the zone late and not early what we want so we can have some type of consistent because we get in the pitch pattern. Take notes, dinosaur. Uh -huh. And then it will come off early. Come off early because Roll they didn't over, get the stuff like that. Yeah. Come so on. that's one. This is another one. Ooh, now, he can probably think down to the ball, whatever. But when you watch him hit, he tilting and the barrel not get above the, the shoulders. The barrel is right behind it. Now, a lot of coaches, they try to teach stop right here and they go through it. That's wrong. Remember, it's going to look like this if you put the right energy because if you turn the wrist and the barrel right, it's going to look like this, but it's all in one motion. It's all one movement. Okay? And I see them a lot. A lot of those coaches, they just try to get you right here with the hands right there, and then from there, they want you to push the hands. Because they want, you, they want you to get, like in this picture, they want you to get in that picture with the barrel like that. But then if you, that's the picture, that's the video. But then in reality, the energy of that barrel is going back, back. But then you got the feeling. His feeling is probably going down. You know what I mean? Like it's so much going on. And that's why it's so much confusing in this world of hitting because his feeling is probably down to the ball. That picture look like a, he's stopping right here. He tried to bring it behind his shoulders. But the right energy, the right information is barrel is getting that energy from behind right here. Because if you see that barrel blurry and then you see that barrel so quick getting under the hands and uh, or uh, the hands getting above the barrel, you will understand that that barrel kind of just get the energy from back there. And that's what happened. That's why you got the pop. That's why you got the quickness. That's why the barrel not roll over. Okay. The energy going from back there. All right. So now you got that. And then you got this one. Goes me. This guy, you're going to tell him, okay. Yes. He's probably a little bit disconnected, mm -hmm. but he bring in the right energy. That barrel, you're not going to tell him, hey, try to put your bat in your shoulder and slide it from there like this, down. Are you crazy? You don't want to do that because then you will mess up the right energy. That was a home run. And this dude, he's been hitting like that for a long time. Okay. 
Uh, so he is not coming from above the no, shoulders? No, not at all. Not at all. All right. Now you got this guy. This is Machado. Machado is hitting more connected this year. And you can see the barrel energy. <laughs> this is above the shoulder? No. Okay. Well, so why are you working above the shoulder? So it can happen in the games? Dude, why? Why? You why remember. Yeah. Why it, not make it more simple and just... No. It, 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 these people have to remember. The evolve of hitting mechanics is getting better and it will get better with time. And you will see more coaches like us through the years. <coughs> but what happened? It's going to take time. Because right now... <coughs> oh my we gosh. Have, we have to call the ambulance. <coughs> because right now, we got a lot of ego. We got a lot of um misunderstanding of how, what we're trying to do they thinking we're trying to get under we're trying to do, you know so you're gonna go with dinosaurs around you have to fight through it but if you wanna the right information and you well, wanna kill those dinosaurs you make sure you go to loscastrofos.com because the right VIP. there we're gonna give you consistency and you can have it as a coach in silence you know because maybe you working with somebody they're helping you one day a week but then we're going to help you every day by being in the VIP. Because if you're in that VIP, you're going to send us a video unlimited. And we're going to tell you, look at what you're doing. Look at what you need to work. Look at where you're at. Look at, look at your hands. You're connected. So good job, brother. Uh, Raymond, uh, whatever Balls your name me. is. Oh, yeah, sure. Barrel behind. Yes, we're getting there. Good job. And then... When you study that and then you analyze that with us, obviously you're going to get smart on hitting. You're going to bring some consistent because we always going to hold you accountable. We always going to be asking for perfection and that's the way it's supposed to be. If your coach don't ask for perfection in your swing, you probably are destroying your career because your hitting had to be specific. Your hitting had to be clean and more clean that you bring it through the years, more perfection you're going to bring more easy for you to play in the highest level because you have better understanding of what is supposed to happen. Okay. And how are we going to teach you that? We're going to show you the proof like this. We always going to put a lead player right next to you. And this is going to be you. This is a professional that we work with. And that's how it is. We're going to probably show you how they move and then how you should move. And then when you put it together, then you want to feel the key of the Ferrari. You're going to feel the password. You're going to feel the quickness. You're going to see the ball bigger. Okay. You're going to see some consistent, some results because you're moving the way it's supposed to be to play in the highest level. And think about that. Pitchers going faster and faster every year. And it's more pitchers evolving their mechanics to destroy your career and try to destroy you at bats. You had to get ready. You had to get that weapon ready. And your weapon is not the bat, it's your mechanics. How you use that bat, that's the weapon. It's like me having a, a what, what gun? Tell me the name of the gun. AKA 47. AKA 47, and you got like a like little water gun, right? Yeah. Oh, no, 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 let's say, let's say a, a real gun. Oh, a, a little, oh, you know, chuck gun. A little, okay, you got a chuck gun, but right. you, I got an AK 47. Right. What is better gun? Uh, let's say the well, AK, 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 AK because it reach it reach longer, no? The uh -huh. shotgun you have but to be close. You maybe know how to use the shotgun better, the shotgun better, and you kill me exactly. because I'll be like this. I don't run. know how to use it. Yes, same you thing run. with your bat. You don't know how to use it more when you got somebody right in front of you using that weapon like a pro, and that's the picture you try to get to it and be ready. Placata, take it. Oh. Need to drink some water after this, brother. We, we show them Machado. We show them Goldsmith. Ooh! <coughs> you too? You too now? You wanna copy me? You wanna copy me? I cough. You don't. I do whatever I want. You don't tell me what I do. I tell you, you don't cough. You don't tell me what to do. Yeah, but just, you stop. Because if I cough, you can cough. That's my style. I do what I want. Go bring me some water, bro. I don't want. I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna bring you shit. Hey, brother, but if you know, if I die over here, the channel is over. 
No, you die. You it's to, okay. No, you have to protect. It's no. My, you're my brother. How about you? <clears throat> you're stupid. All right, right here. Look at that barrel. <clears throat> Luis Arraez. I know a lot of you. Ah, oh, no, he Arraez. Don't get the barrel back. Also, but the Dude. video is wrong then. Just because he bring a slow speed barrel, he got a low uh, velocity of the barrel. That don't mean that he's pushing the hands down. He's still turning. He's still bringing that barrel behind and get early in the zone. That's why he's a lead now. Because he's bringing less speed, he bring more consistency with the barrel, but he's bringing less power. Exactly. It all makes sense, right? But he's still bringing it. Do you think he bring it on top of the shoulders? No. Okay, so if you don't believe me, ah, look at that. If you put it the other angle, it wouldn't look like... No, 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 no. Look at the barrel going away from the neck. Okay? But they will see the hands. <clears throat> no, forget about the hands, brother. Look at the barrel. Because you can bring your hands like this and not turn your barrel. <laughs> the hands like this and not turning the barrel. You cannot be that stupid. Okay, you still have to turn that barrel. Eh. Eh. All right, all right. Now, maybe your favorite player. Juan Soto. And the thing is, when he talk when he talk about hitting, he like, oh, I go, you gotta go straight down. I go straight down. Yeah, so it's look belief. It. I don't care. Remember, it's a belief. It's his feeling. It's video, I don't whatever. Care. And that's why I feel like our membership is the best because unlimited video analysis. That's what you wanna know because you maybe wanna feel. I wanna feel like I can get it on top, but then it maybe is destroying your career because you're not having this movement. You don't have in that barrel early in the sun. Maybe you need uh, somebody to hold you accountable with explanations every night or every day. When you send us your video, you you will receive back the information. Hey, look at you, bro. Work on this drill. Let's just get this right. Look at your hands. Look at your head. Look at your shoulders. Look at you moving forward. You didn't say that. You know, whatever. Okay. Ha, ah, the MVP. Ronald Acuna. Ronald and that's another Acuna. one that when you see videos of him practicing, he do dinosaur drills. Dude. But uh, like we are, like we saying, we don't care. We don't care. The video has to look like this. Dude, he can clean his swing a little bit more. Yeah. But then you counting on his athletic ability. He's and, an specimen. And a specimen. But he's still bringing the right he energy. He's still doing it. Yeah. He's and not he's pushing the back. Down. Yeah. No. He's, he's doing the right movement, but he's doing a little bit too much. He's doing it even worse. You know what I mean? Because yeah. we're teaching turning the barrel, but then he do that. It's almost like a little kid. You know, mm -hmm. little kid. If you see this in a little kid, you would teach him how to do it right, right? But yep. then what are you going to do with it, with him? He already doing it. He turning the barrel. He's he working. Okay? He can be a little bit more clean. It, yes. But he don't going to notice until he slow down. He start getting older. You know what I mean? So... Obviously, it worked for him right now. It's good, but uh, the idea of turning the barrel is the right way. He's doing it right, okay? Look at this. Oh, wow. Money. That's dinero. The best yeah. one. That's the best one. Why? Because he got the numbers. That's the best one. Because why? He see the ball well because he got walk a lot. Ah, he got juice. Dude, it doesn't matter. There's a lot of juice in that time. A lot of people with juice. And they were not putting the numbers that he put. They were not even close. Not even close. And then before he got put, uh, injected, he was good too. Mm -hmm. And he was skinny when he was younger. So the idea is just compare the elite players with your swing to get you better. That's the whole idea of this. Okay? Because we got now all this information in our hands and we need to take advantage. And us, Caster Bros, we're just making it a little bit more easier. Talk to you. I, I'm going to hold you accountable. I'm going to show you. I'm going to take you through your hands and go walk through it. Let's get it right. Let's go. So you create stories. You create something. You create a legend. But it's going to be hard work. You maybe it's it's going to be hard to get this swing. Maybe. But you will count your, your money later. Yep. You will count your story later. That's the whole goal with this thing. So you get opportunities to play the game and have fun and joy and love and, and do what you love.
when I retired baseball, I was devastated. But the hardest part was hitting. I was getting hurt. But, you know, I always had to put more numbers. But I was so and I was so crazy about getting more information, getting information. Now I'm doing what I want in my time. I wish I had more information. Now this is what we do. Cash for us. Giving that information and get it right. People, thank you for watching. Keep subscribing. We'll see you on the next video. No exclusive. No be a baby. Let's go.